Widely regarded as one of the most influential minds in human history, Isaac Newton was perhaps best known for his achievements in mathematics and their principal applications in the foundations of classical mechanics as well as physics, natural philosophy and astronomy. Born on the 25th of December 1642 in Woolthorpe, England, Newton belonged to a relatively uneducated farming family and received his primary education at the King's School at Grantham. He died in 1726, Kensington, England, aged 84. In 1661, Newton was admitted to Trinity College, Cambridge, where he obtained a bachelor's degree in 1665. While Newton's intended further education was delayed by the closure of the university due to the Great Plague, it was during this two years hiatus that he developed his most influential contributions towards mathematics. In 1667, he returned to Cambridge and was elected as a Fellow of Trinity. In 1669, he received his master's degree and was elected as a Fellow of the Royal Society in 1672. Newton's development of the generalized binomial theorem and calculus had a profound impact on the mathematical world allowing solutions to be found where elementary algebra could not provide them. Specifically, calculus allowed mathematicians and scientists to analyze rates of change and accumulation of quantities changing the way that people viewed the motion of the planets at the time. Newton's calculus is now used in every branch of the physical sciences as well as actuarial and computer science, statistics, engineering, economics, business, medicine and demography. It is the foundation for a range of applications in mathematics and is used in conjunction with areas such as linear, algebra, probability theory and analytical geometry. Calculus also influenced other mathematicians and their work such as George Green, Leonhard Euler and Pierre Simon Laplace. At the time, however, Newton was reluctant to publish his work on calculus as he feared controversy and criticism. Around the same period, French mathematician Gottfried Leibniz also developed the foundations of calculus. Through Leibniz's notation differed from Newton's, the mathematics was fundamentally the same. This sparked a fierce controversy throughout the mathematical and scientific communities at the time and continued until long after the two men had died. Newton was however able to use his influences in the Royal Society to persuade many in the community that he was the true discoverer of calculus.